Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. So today we're going to discuss about world hunger. Before jumping in the topic about world hunger and discussing it globally, let's run, learn what hunger is. Hunger is an uncomfortable situation to be in. It is a painful sensation caused by insufficient consumption of dietary energy. It becomes chronic when a person does not consume uh, consume uh, dietary energy uh, on the on daily basis and if, if a person does not consume dietary energy on daily basis, it can it it would never lead to a healthy active uh, and a fruitful life right and when a person is hungry when a per someone is food uh, food insecure they they cannot live a healthy active and a fruitful life hunger is basically defined as a condition uh, a physical or uh, you can say a financial condition where when a person is not capable to eat food or uh, when a person cannot meet their basic nutritional needs uh, to go throughout the day or to function actively and be healthy. Globally, levels of hunger remain alarmingly high, but in the recent year, in 2021, there was a drastic increase in people food insecure. Uh, as reported by the global report on food crisis, they reported that this year or last year there were 193 million people food insecure they didn't have food they went to bed hungry they went to bed hungry at night and basically if we compare it to the 2020s report because this year's report isn't out yet so 2021 and 2020s report there is an increase if we compare it this that represents that there is increase in 40 million people food insecure now nearly 193 million uh, people in this world are food insecure and we have to stop that we can't let just the quarter of this world be food insecure and sleep hungry right okay so causes what are the causes of world hunger what causes uh, this uh, world hunger to be such big and why is it increasing in such uh, an alarming rate okay so the causes of world hunger are varied they are complex and they are often interconnected with each other number one poverty poverty is the main cause of world hunger nowadays then food instability uh, food shortage or even wasting food a job instability and uh, climate change seasonal problems uh, natural disasters and uh, you can say that uh, unstable markets cause world hunger Okay, so some other reasons I may state uh, of global hunger are war and conflict, obviously, uh, food insecurity, shortage of food and waste, as I stated, poor infrastructure, seasonal problems, as I stated uh, before, uh, uh, obviously, climate change and climate climate crisis and uh, politics, disturbance in politics is also uh, reasons that not directly but indirectly affects world hunger and is increasing world hunger that is why in 2021 it uh, compared to 2022 there were 40 million more people who are food insecure so i stated that the main cause of uh, world hunger is poverty nowadays uh, and it's poverty this year so what is why is poverty affecting world hunger so much okay poverty is the main cause of uh, world hunger and or you can say that unequal distribution of pay or unequal distribution of income and lack of resources in uh, undeveloped countries or developing countries who are being developed uh, at the time they are they are, they don't have that much resources uh, when they are being developed right uh, unequal pay and lack of resources in uh, developing countries means that millions of people will be food insecure millions of people simply just cannot afford the land for farming or supplies for farming or simply they cannot just afford buying some nutritious food that will uh, that will make them that will make them live a happy healthy and fruitful and active life they are food insecure and they don't have the equal pay they don't have that much education so they are hungry that poverty directly affects world hunger and poverty is increasing so world hunger people hungry in this world are also increasing so i use the word people hungry in this world 
so really how many people are hungry in this world how many people are really hungry in this world globally around uh, 8.9% of the world's population is hungry around uh, approximately uh, 690 million people go to bed uh, at night with an empty stomach and since 2014 it is increasing gradually and with an alarming rate so if it continues at this rate there is no doubt to say that approximately 900 million people will be food insecure and will be hungry soon say, uh, uh, to like uh, many uh, more people like 900 million people there is no doubt to say that 900 million people will be food insecure just about 2030 or really soon cuz we are not curing it we cannot cure it right now obviously cuz in my opinion it cannot be cured right now just because of the climate changes come climate crisis and uh, the last year problem covid-19 it is really not affecting nowadays but it is still a problem and it is something to really focus on right now in my opinion currently the world is not on the track to end world hunger or to even reduce world hunger because even before uh, covid-19 the progress made to reduce world hunger was derailed by wars and conflicts uh, politics uh, like you know obviously as i stated uh, politics the um, disturbance in politics uh, it also affects world hunger and uh, it was also derailed because of climate crisis because of climate change and because of natural disaster so i don't think so there is an a, like you know there is an a hint to uh, end world hunger or to re- even reduce world hunger by 2030 or something okay so what are some effects of global hunger global hunger makes individual more prone to diseases and less productive when a person is less productive they don't want to do anything when a person is less active they don't want to do anything so that in turn makes them less uh, lazy you can say or that in turn makes them not like you know uh, do betterment for their livelihood or earn a better income so global hunger indirectly results in being less productive and not earning a better income so that they can eat okay how can we end world hunger how can we end world hunger okay we definitely cannot end world hu- world hunger in one step it was not created in one step it can never end in one step we have to reduce world hunger how can we reduce world hunger in my opinion education education is the best weapon to end poverty and hunger uh, world hunger basically education is the most deadliest weapon to end poverty and education and uh, uh, hunger world hunger basically education means more opportunity education means more income education means more food education when you get more income you'll buy food you are able to afford a uh, land for farming and supplies that for farming that you need to grow right so education directly means ending world hunger even reducing world hunger and poverty so education is the ma- most powerful weapon against world hunger and poverty now so this marks the end of today's video we discuss the definition of world hunger causes of world hunger and the effects of it and how can we end it or even how can we reduce it education is the most uh, it is most especially it is powerful in undeveloped countries basically that was uh, that was what i was stated right education is the most powerful weapon against poverty and hunger so we have to establish schools we have to motivate people to study and let them know that education leads to a better life right hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel comment down below your favorite part and adios i am out